Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem which is x plus 6 bracket factorial over x plus 2 bracket factorial is equal to 1680. To find the value of x from this equation. Now, from here in the numerator, x plus 6 bracket factorial, we make this to be divisible by this denominator of x plus 2 bracket factorial. So, from this numerator, x plus 6 bracket factorial is same as x plus 6 bracket bracket x plus 5 bracket bracket x plus 4 bracket bracket x plus 3 bracket bracket x plus 2 bracket factorial then over this in the denominator x plus 2 bracket factorial is equal to 1680 then in the next step to simplify this x plus 2 bracket factorial will cancel with this x plus 2 bracket factorial so it will be this which is x plus 6 bracket bracket x plus 5 bracket bracket x plus 4 bracket bracket x plus 3 bracket is equal to this 1680 then in the next step we'll take this times this and this times this so let's start with this one x plus 6 bracket times this x plus 3 bracket so we multiply this together and bracket we multiply this times this so it will be bracket x plus 5 bracket bracket x plus 4 bracket bracket is equal to this 1680 then in the next step in here it will be x times x is x square then plus x times 3 is 3x three 6 times x is 6x 3x plus 6x is 9x then plus 6 times 3 is 18 bracket then bracket x times x is x square then plus x times 4 is 4x 5 times x is 5x 4x plus 5x is 9x then plus 5 times 4 it is 20 bracket is equal to this 1680 then in the next step from this quadratic equation and in this quadratic equation x square plus 9x is common x square plus 9x and in here 18 20 we make 19 to be in common so this is same as x square plus 9x then plus 18 is same as 19 minus 1 then bracket bracket this x square plus 9x then plus 20 is same as 19 plus 1 then bracket is equal to this 1680 then in the next step now from here x square plus 9x plus 19 x square plus 9x plus 19 is common so we'll let u is equal to x square plus 9x plus 19 so in here it will be u minus 1 then bracket bracket u plus 1 then bracket is equal to this 1680 then in the next step this u minus 1 times u plus 1 this is in the form of a perfect square from the perfect square rule which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b bracket bracket a minus b bracket whereas this is in this form then we change into this form so a square it will be this u square then minus b square 
it will be 1 square which is 1 then is equal to this 1680 then in the next step we take this negative 1 into the right side so it will be u square is equal to this plus 1 it will be 1681 then in the next step we apply square root in both sides so this square root will cancel with square then it will be u is equal to square root of this 1681 it is plus or minus 41 then after we get the value of u but before we let u is this x square plus 9x plus 19 so from x square plus 9x plus 19 is equal to this which is plus or minus 41 then from here we have two solutions because of plus or minus then the first solution it will be x square plus 9x plus 19 is equal to when it is positive it will be 41 and the other solution it is this which is x square plus 9x plus 19 is equal to when it is negative to be negative 41 then in the next step we solve from this first solution we take this, this negative 41 into the right side into the left side so it will be x square plus 9x plus 19 then this it will be minus 41 is equal to 0 then it will be x square plus 9x plus 19 minus 41 it is negative in here it will be negative this 1 my 11 minus 9 it is 2 here to be 3 minus 1 it is 2 so negative 22 is equal to 0 and from here it, we take this into this side so it will be x square plus 9x plus 19 then plus 41 is equal to 0 then it will be x square plus 9x plus this plus this is 0 this plus this is 5 plus 1 is 6 is equal to 0 now from these quadratic equations we check if which if it will give a real solution whereas from the real solution we are checking if it will give a real number now from discriminant formula so as to find the real solution or not the real solution from discriminant formula which is discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac it will be discriminant is equal to b square b is 9 so it will be 9 square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 22 then it will be discriminant is equal to 9 square is 81 negative and negative it will be positive 4 times 22 it is 88 now 81 plus 88 this value is greater than 0 so for this it will give a real solution so we'll continue to solve from from here now let's check from this the second solution if it will give a real solution now from the discriminant formula is equal to b square b is 9 so it will be 9 square minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 60 then it will be discriminant is equal to 9 square is 81 then minus 4 times 60 is 240 now 81 minus 240 it is negative value whereas this is less than 0 so this it will not give a real solution so the so this solution will reject it this is rejected now from this solution which will give it will give a real solution and a real number now let's write here from from this step which is x square minus 9x minus 22 is equal to 0 now to solve from here because it, it will give a real solution and the value of x should be a real number we'll solve this by grouping and factorization 
So from this x square, then plus 9x is same as 11x minus 2x. Then this minus 22 is equal to 0. Then in the next step, in here x is common. So we take x out of bracket. x squared divided by x is x. Then plus 11x divided by x is 11 bracket. Then from here, negative 2 is common. Negative 2x divided by negative 2 is x. Negative 22 divided by negative 2 is positive 11. Bracket is equal to 0. Then in the next step, from here, this x plus 11 is common. So we take x plus 11 out of bracket. Then this divided by this is x. This divided by this is this negative 2. Bracket is equal to 0. Then from here we have two solutions. Whereas first solution is x plus 11 is equal to 0. And the second solution is this x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then from here we take 11 into the right side. So to be x is equal to negative 11. And here we take negative 2 into the right side. It will be x is equal to 2. Now from these values of x, from our problem, which is, let's write here our problem, which is x c, x c plus 6 bracket factorial over x plus 2 bracket factorial is equal to 1680. Now, for this denominator, this value here in the denominator, it should be greater than or equal to 0, so as to give a valid solution. Now from here, x plus 2, it should be greater than or equal to 0. So we'll take 2 to the right side to be x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Therefore, the value of x should be greater than or equal to negative 2. But this is less than less than negative 2. So this solution is not possible. So our only solution is this x is equal to 2. Now to check if this value of x is equal to 2 is correct. From this our problem, we substitute here 2 to be 2 plus 6 is 8, then 8 factorial over 2 plus 2 is 4 so to be 4 factorial is it equal to this 1680 then from 8 factorial to have common 4 factorial 8 factorial is same as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial then over this 4 factorial is it equal to this 1680 then this 4 factorial we cancel with this 4 factorial then from 8 times 7 it is 56 then times 6 times 5 it is 30 is it equal to this 1680 now from this 56 times 30 here we have 0 3 times 6 is 18, go with 1. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1, it is 16, which is equal to this 1680. Now, left side and right side are equal, therefore, it's true for the value of x is equal to 2. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.